Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Nitro and Moose. <laughs> Forgot her name. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Stay tuned, Stay tuned for Air Gun Detectives. Well, welcome to another episode of Air Gun Detectives. I'm your host, JC, and today we get to take the mystery out of the Benjamin Gunner PCP rifle. Also, as a bonus to you guys, we're also going to take the mystery out of this um, Miopta. Uh, this is the Mio Pro, the Optica A5. This is a 2 by 10 by 42 with a Z plus reticle. So we're going to take a close look at this too. Because as you're going to see, this rifle is going to need a scope on it. So it's a perfect match right here. Anyway, before we get started on this, do me a favor, if you hadn't already, hit that subscribe button down in the corner. It costs you absolutely nothing. It's free, but it really helps support the channel, and I appreciate that. Also, if you have a chance, check out my website, www.airgundetectives.com. On that site, I've got various t-shirts, i got hats, and I have my Generation 2 bipods. And you will see some occasional inventory popping up on there as well. All right, let's get back to the gun on hand. And uh, actually, before we get into that, let me show you a little bit about the Miopticope here real quick. Comes in this pretty cool packaging. All these uh, Miopticopes, they're, they're pretty great. They, um, they have a lifetime warranty. Let's pull this out here. Anyway, this one is their uh, Mio Pro model. Comes with all your little paperwork and few little items in here. Let's get this out of the way. But yeah, so you got your various nice little paperwork and uh, you got your various items in here. You can get a little sticker, your manual, things like that. But let's just take a quick look at the scope. These are pretty cool. So obviously it's got lens caps on it. But this is a uh, one inch aluminum. Uh, this one is a 2x10x42. By by this has a zoom on it as well as it's got your side focus on here. It's got some great caps. It's got like a rubber texture on the outside of them. But I just want to show you, see these uh, easy adjustments. And this is a one quarter MOA adjustment, which is really good. So you got the uh, five times zoom. You got rear, uh, zero resets on these. And you have some amazing glass, but I'll tell you what's really cool on this. I love the Z plus reticle. I mean, check that out. The Z plus reticle. It is awesome. But anyway, we're going to take this out. We're going to match this up with a gunner and uh, we're going to see how well it performs, but pretty cool scope. It really is. But like anything else, we will take it out and test it. Let's just get this out of the way. All right. So now, Let's talk about this. The reason it's in this case is because it comes in this case. I wanted to show you guys this. It comes in a case, it even has wheels on it. So if you wanted to drag it rather than carry it, you could roll it around. But yeah, see, so you got the, the gunner right here. Anyway, so let's, let's show you what you get in the case. Let's unlock this. A, like I said, it's a pretty heavy duty case. So let's open this up. So what we have in here, obviously is our Benjamin Gunner and we'll get into that. You've got instructions, you've got two magazines, you've got the foster fitting, foster fitting, you got a bunch of wrenches, a few spare seals. You also have an adapter to the moderator here. I should say an adapter for a moderator. Um, this already does have your silencing cones inside it, but they have this uh, adapter if you want to add even another suppressor to make it even quieter. And we know someone that's got those suppressors. Don't forget about buck and rail. I'll leave you guys a link for that. But let's take a closer look at this gun. Let me get this set up for you. We'll get the case out of the way. You guys already got the case, so all right. Let's get this out of the way. All right. 
This is set up. I'm just going to do this for display. Obviously, the bipod does not come with it, but we're just going to throw this on here just so it'll set up here so you guys can get a good look at it. This is a pretty awesome gun. This comes in both 22 and 25 caliber. And you'll see it kind of has that AR look to it because it's AR compatible as far as the grips goes and the buck's butt stop. So it's got almost like a, it definitely has an AR style look to it. But anyway, uh, this gun is fully regulated and you can adjust the regulators. Like anything else, you have to degas it before you adjust the regulator, but you can adjust it. Again, 22 and 25 caliber. Here, here's one of my favorite parts of this. This is a 3000 fill tank. There's so many of the air guns out there in the PCP rifles that are 3600, over 4000, 4300, 4500. You have to get such a special compressor to go up that high. This one, if you had to, you can use a hand pump and it's not going to destroy you because the fill level is 3000 PSI. Again, I like that because my scuba tanks are at 3000, so you can just fill them, fill it right up. So they claim this will get up to about 1,000 feet per second in 22. This also has a transfer port adjustment, or just how much air comes through the transport. So if you wanted to run this really low, you could do that. It's right here, right here on the side. You can see that. Um, it's got your typical, these are our typical Benjamin type magazines where you rotate the, rotate the magazine, you drop your first pellet in there, it locks in, and then you feed the rest of your pellets around. You guys have seen those before, so I'm not going to go through that whole process because they're, they're pretty much the same. So again, you've got your <clears throat> tank pressure here, and then you have your regulated pressure right here on the bottom. It's got a really nice big uh, cocking arm that has a nice positive locking position. You've got your Picatinny rail across the top. You got a Picatinny rail across the bottom, so you can set up uh, any type of accessories like a bipod if you want, things like that. Um, as again, this is a 500 cc tank, so you're going to hold a lot of air. You really are going to hold a lot of air. It also has a, if you can see the trigger here, it's got it's fully adjustable. The trigger and the shoe is adjustable too, so you can set that up. The safety on it, just like your almost your typical AR. It's got a little flip safety right here. So you can see that. Yeah, it's really a, it, it's really a neat looking rifle. And it's, it's very solid and you can tell it's very, very well built. Um, it comes with the, uh, the adjustable stock. So this is adjustable. And it also has an adjustable uh, cheek rest here too. So you just push this in, this will come up and down for you here. Okay, so this holds uh, 12 shots in 22, and uh, it does come with the two magazines, which is great. But it's like anything else, let's see how this thing performs. Because it looks great, but it's like a fast car with a bad engine in it, I don't know. Let's take it out and uh, run it through our test, and then we're going to come back and talk about it. So stay tuned for the next segment. All right, guys, we got our Benjamin Gunner here. We're going to test it over the crony uh, just to get an average of how it does. Keep in mind, you, the tank's a 3,000 PSI fill, but the regulator can be adjusted. You have adjustments on the regulator. We're going to set it for half of that. We're going to set it for 1,500 PSI. Just want to see how well it'll do at that level. And there's a transfer port adjustment on the side. We have that all the way open. So what I thought we'd do is, since it's 22 caliber, let's shoot some Benjamin 14.3 grain. Um, 22 caliber pellets. We'll shoot five of those just so we can get an average on velocity. And then I'll tell you how well it did with an 18 grain. All right, so five shots. All right, shot number one, 964. Shot number two, 955. Shot number three, 962. Shot number four, 964. And one more. 959. I love regulated PCPs. It keeps it right in that low standard deviation, which is nice. So anyway, there's your average uh, feet per second and your foot pounds of energy. Also, I wanted to let you guys know, I threw an 18 grain, one of the H&Ns through here, just to see how well it did. 
it shot, uh, it averaged 895 feet per second with the 18 grain. That's about 32 foot pounds of energy. And keep in mind, as I said again, we just have this set for 1500. So you can actually crank this regulator up and you can get a lot more velocity out of it and thus foot pounds of energy. If you're like a hunter and you have that option to crank it up, you'll have less shots but more power. But if you can do a lot of shooting in the backyard, target shooting, you're going to want to probably bring that regulator down. All right, let's move on to the next segment. Let's test out our gunner, a little accuracy. You guys know now I'm shooting from 40 yards out. I um, think that's a little better for the PCPs. We'll just see how well it groups. We're going to be using the uh, splatter burst targets. These are the 4-inch. Look, they come in a roll now, which is pretty convenient. So you just unroll them, stick them on, and you're ready to go. I'll leave a link for you guys down below on that. Uh, this thing is not pellet picky, okay? Not pellet picky whatsoever. But it likes the uh, JSB jumbos, the 15.89, a lot. And it likes the 18 grain barracudas. So it's not too windy, so we'll just try the 15.89 grain. Um, the awesome thing, this scope is just absolutely amazing. It is so crystal clear at even this 40-yard distance, and you can just fine-tune this right in with that... Um, with that reticle it is so nice but anyway let's shoot five shots uh show you the distance we're shooting from real quick all right see how well we can make this group that's one just when i said it wasn't windy some gusts just came in that's two. And three. And four. And five. And if that is not stacking pellets at 40 yards, I don't know what is. Amazing. Really amazing. All right, you see that, that group we got. Let's move on to the next segment. All right, let's test our trigger on the uh, Benjamin Gunner here. It has a fully adjustable trigger on it. You can adjust the height of the uh, trigger shoe. You can adjust it for weight, pull weight. It's pretty awesome. So, but let's just see how it looks right out of the box here. Okay. We have our trusty Lyman trigger gauge. Let's see how we do here. Okay, that's set at one pound, 11 ounces. One pound, 11 ounces. Yeah, totally adjustable. So you can pick your weight and the height of the shoe. Pretty awesome. All right, let's move on to the next segment. All right, let's do some plinking. You guys know it's my favorite part. But uh, for fun, we're going to just shoot the Barracudas at 18 while we're planking. But uh, we're uh, 40 yards back, kind of a slight uphill. Go ahead and take a quick look. You can see the little targets that we're going to shoot there. Got some small ones, a little 223 shell, some shotgun shells, etc. So let's, uh, let's see what we can knock down. We'll start from the right, go to the left. All right. Oh, that is small. But we got it. Actually, that was a twofer. Let's see if we can get that shotgun shell laying down. I'd say that was a hit. And the steel pipe. Man, keep not getting two for one here. All right, how about the little egg? Ah, this thing hits hard. And of course, the no-brainer would be that can there at the end. Man, this thing just hits exactly where you're aiming. If I just didn't demonstrate that. Incredible. And once again, this Optica 5, just absolutely amazing how clear um, the glass is on it. And, the, and you can just focus it right in. All right, let's move on to the next segment. All right, let's wrap this up with our conclusion. So, how did our scope, our Meopta scope do? 
and our gunner. You guys tell me. I just thought absolutely amazing. The whole combination. Let's chat about this scope for just for a second. I don't know if you guys ever had the opportunity to shoot maybe a, a higher end or medium range scope see through one, but it is night and day how clear the glass is, just how smooth the adjusted knobs work, how that you can actually go two or three clicks for an adjustment and then go back two or three clicks and it's in the back, the exact same position. That's what happens when you get your higher end scopes. They really are. And I love the Z plus reticle. It is amazing. I mean, look at that. The sight picture on it is just absolutely incredible. You know, it's like anything else when it comes to air gun scopes, you get what you pay for. But the thing about um, Miopta, you're getting a lot more scope than uh, you actually pay for. You really do. They're, they're pretty exceptional. They really are. I am totally impressed with these. And I would say if you have the opportunity, grab one of these. Now these scopes here, they run uh, probably mid three to higher 300s, somewhere in that range. But I'm telling you, it's incredible. It makes night and day difference. All right, let's get on to the gunner. So as I said, I thought this thing did awesome. But like anything else, let's talk about the negatives, okay? The negatives I would say on this only is it's expensive. This gun is close to a thousand bucks. But keep that in mind, what I just said with the scope, you get what you pay for. This is one quality rifle. So let's jump right into the positive. First of all, I love how it's got this AR setup. I really do. So you could, it's AR compatible, so if you want to change the grip, you could. I don't know why you would. This grip is fantastic. The buttstock as well, you can change that out. Remember, it's, it's AR based, which is great. One of the biggest pluses for me, and I touched on this in the beginning, I love the fact that this is a 3000 fill PSI, and I love the fact it has this big 500cc tank. What's great about that is you don't need some outrageous special compressor. Or, and you can still use your typical scuba tanks to fill this because it's only a 3,000 uh, um, PSI fill. And I just, a lot of these other guns that are coming out nowadays, they're much higher fill and you have to get come up with a special compressor for those. I love the fact that this is regulated. And so let's get right into the, uh, as far as the regulated shots go. I charted this entire thing out. And you get a full 60 shots in the higher 900 feet per second. So you get a full 60 regulated shots out of this. So don't tell me that's not a hunter's dream or just if you're into backyard plinking. I mean, that's fantastic. So yeah, 60 regulated shots in the higher 900s, incredible. It really is. And the rifle also matches that great shot count with incredible accuracy. I mean, terrific accuracy. You saw what we did at 40 yards. At 40 yards, we basically put one pellet on top of the other. I mean, we had a 0.14 inch center to center group, meaning all the pellets went through the same hole. They really did. Trigger, incredible. Completely adjustable. I love the fact it's got the adjustable shoe here. This is really nice. So you can just set it at the right angle and the height exactly the way you want it. So it's fully adjustable. So you have all of that, which is great. It's nice it comes with the wrenches. It's also nice it comes with the standard Foster fitting, those little extras, and the gun case. That's obviously the bonus. Also, as I said before, it does come with the half by 20 for your barrel shroud here. So guess what? If you want to grab one of Terry's suppressors, you can actually put a suppressor on this. And then you can, uh, this will go right on the front. Just we'll screw right on the front of this right here. Boom. And then make it super, super quiet. And I'll leave you guys a link for a buck rail down below under the description there. But anyway, overall, gun's incredible. I'm absolutely thrilled with it. And I think it's honestly, once again, you get what you pay for. You really do. So how would I rate these? Well, first of all, let's start with the scope. That's a five-star scope, without a doubt. It's fantastic, and I'm telling you, until you try one of these, you're not gonna believe how incredible they are, because once you actually look through it, and you're shooting it, and you're adjusting it, that's when this thing just comes alive, and you're like, whoa, it's putting a smile on my face every time I shot it, just because I could not believe how good that sight picture was. So that's definitely a five-star. Our Benjamin Gunner, without a doubt, this is a five-star gun. And 
I can't emphasize enough, I love that 3000 uh, PSI fill. I really do. It's awesome. And our shot count was incredible. 60 regulated shots. That's fantastic. So anyway, once again, I'm glad you tuned in for this episode of Air Gun Detectives. Don't forget, this is where we take the mystery out of air guns and occasionally a scope or some other object. So until next time, I hope you and your families are well. I hope you're getting a lot of shooting in and God bless and take care.